Start out by removing the cover over the battery. Just flip it up like that. Disconnect the negative terminal. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen it up. And just move this away so it doesn't arc out. You can take these caps off if you have these and get this tool out of the trunk where the spare tire is. Just pull the caps off, just like that. And if you have a wheel lock key, you want to get that as well. Use a 17 millimeter socket, take off all these lug bolts. And when you go to take the last one off, either hold the wheel or just be prepared because it could fall off. Grab the wheel and slide it off. Now I'm going to remove this panel, use a T25 socket and take out these screws. And underneath, take these screws out as well, the same T25 socket. Now you can grab this panel and just slide it out. Just so this panel is not in the way, you can take these screws out as well. Grab the panel and just slide it off. Now there's no drain on the radiator to drain the coolant out, so we can pop off the coolant hose right here. There's a little clip right here. Just make sure the coolant is cold. Make sure you can grab this and there's no pressure in there. If there was, just um, take off the cap, take off the coolant cap and let it cool if it's hot. If you need to disconnect this connector right here, just push down on the tab and slide it off. If you have to, you can get a pick underneath there. It's not that easy to squeeze that. So that's off, out of the way. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath here. And just wiggle this off a little bit. Just very carefully. <gasps> oh, <laughs> just pull that off. It surprised me a little bit. Take the AC belt off, use a 15 millimeter wrench or an adapter. Just twist the tensioner to the right or to the left. And take the belt off. Now there's a tensioner right here. Use a 15 millimeter wrench or a tool that has a 15 millimeter adapter. Loosen the tension off the belt and just try to slide the belt off the tensioner like that and you can take it off the compressor you can take your wrench out slide it off the pulleys off the alternator and off the water pump take these two bolts out here use a 13 millimeter socket this can be loose. Underneath the oil pan I'm just going to use a block of wood and support the engine. Try to do it near the edges or near the corners. It's a little bit stronger. You don't want to do it in the middle of the oil pan. This is about where you want the floor jack with the piece of wood on the back side of the oil pan. Take these two bolts out near the dog bone mount. You're going to use a 16 millimeter socket. And that's okay, that can just stay like that. 
You don't have to remove it. Remove this bolt right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket. You can move that washer out of the way. Washer fluid reservoir out of the way. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down on that tab and slide it off. You can use a screwdriver if you want to. Sometimes it's hard to push on these. And the wiring harness. Just move this out of the clips. Just like that. Remove this hose clamp. Use some hose clamp pliers. Squeeze this, move it down. You can disconnect this hose. Twist it a little bit. If you need to, you can use some hose pliers. And carefully slide that off. Just like that. There's two screws in the back here, one there and one there. Use a T25 to take those out. Grab the reservoir and slide it up. If you want to, you can just remove this out of the way and just leave it like that. And take a 13 millimeter socket and take these two bolts out. Take these two bolts out on top of this mount. Use a 16 millimeter socket. With the floor jack, I'm just gonna raise the engine up slightly. That's good. There's two bolts right here. Use the same 16 millimeter socket. Take those out. And down in the back, there's another 16 millimeter bolt. You're gonna have to use a socket and a ratchet. Loosen that one up with that bolt out then you can take the mount out of the way and the water pumps right here you want to take a t30 socket you want to make sure it's a quarter inch or a smaller one so that you can get in there and there's three screws you need to remove so you're gonna have to feel you can't really see what's going on and loosen those up And slide those out. And if you have to raise up the engine a little bit more, go ahead. Just be careful. Go nice and slow. There we go. Slide the old one out. So take the new water pump. You just want to take a scraper or a little bit of emery cloth or sandpaper and just clean that up a bit. Make sure that looks good and slide the new water pump in place. Line that up. While it's still in this location, it'll be easier to put the bolts in. Get those all started. And you can get in there with a torque wrench and torque those to 10 Newton meters. At this point, if you are replacing the tensioner as well, you want to put that back on in the idler. And you could put your belt on right now, but we're going to do that after. We're going to install the motor mount now. Slide that in place. Install the two longer bolts up front. And the shorter one's going to be in the back. It's a little bit easier to access this back one with the motor a little higher. And tighten those down. And snug it down. Those are good. Now carefully lower the engine, nice and slow. 
install the engine mount bolts. I'm going to have to move the engine a little bit. And tighten those down. Now we can put this bracket on and the two bolts. Tighten those down. At this point, you can lower the jacks down all the way. Now I'll take the bolts from underneath and reinstall these. Line those up and tighten these down. Reinstall these bolts and tighten them down. Now if you want to, what you can do is take a 15 millimeter wrench and just move the tensioner. And then if you have an Allen key or a special tool, you can put it in that hole and that's gonna keep the tension um, off the tensioner. So then you can put the belt on, it makes it a little bit easier, but you don't have to do that. Now take the belt, slide it over the water pump below the tensioner, under the idler up top, over the alternator, then go around the AC compressor, and then the tensioner, and the last we're going to go over the idler right there. It's all lined up. Take your wrench or your belt tensioner tool, take the tension off the tensioner, and slide the belt over the idler. Make sure everything's lined up, and you can take the wrench off. Now I take the belt, go around the crank pulley, and the tensioner and just use your 15 millimeter wrench and slide around the AC compressor and just make sure it looks good. Now take this cover and line it up. And get all the screws started. And tighten them up. Slide the shield in position. Put the bolts in and tighten them down. Install the wheel, get it lined up. Grab the lug bolts and get those started. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts or lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And go around again, double check. Take the wheel lock off and put the caps back on. Now connect the battery. And just snug it down, make sure it's not loose. And put the cover on. Now you want to top off the coolant. You can check your owner's manual for the appropriate coolant. You should use Volkswagen approved coolant. At this point, you can start the vehicle, let the vehicle run for about 10 minutes, monitoring the level of the coolant and also the temperature of the engine, make sure it's not overheating. After about the 10 minutes, shut the vehicle down, let it cool, and then check your level and make adjustments.